Hello, Gestalt und Darstellung, Digital Students. Welcome to lesson seven. Um, we're going to make a section in this lesson. Um, and it's a very simple, uh, nice, easy command uh, this time. Um, first thing uh, we're going to do is obviously uh, duplicate our original um, model and call that with today's date um, with a section added to the end of the name. Um, so let's get started. We're going to make a new uh, layer. We're going to call that new layer section. Just going to move that to the top. And we're going to select that layer. Uh, we're going to turn off all the layers that we don't need, so I already have done for 2D. And so we only have 3D and Antwerp selected. Um, so I'm working on my uh, section layer. Now I want to make a line um, with using the polyline tool through the uh, design, which will be representative of a section line. Um, so on our section layer that we just created, let's give it a color, make it uh, blue. Um, I'm going to select a section through that I think will be interesting um, through this design. Um, something that captures um, a good proportion of uh, the design. Maybe some trees. Now well, something like that will do. Hit enter to finish the line. Uh, now what we're going to do is use the section command, and that takes uh, calculates a section in line drawing uh, through the design, um, similar to the make two D function. Um, so. Go ahead and type the command um, section. And it says select objects for uh, section. Uh, so anything cutting through this line, we want to be selected. Um, so you can do that just by clicking the objects of intersection. So everything that's passing through, uh, apart from our section line, we don't want that selected. It's not quite reaching that building, uh, so I don't need to select that. But um, Well, I think that's everything selected that intersects uh, with our blue section line. Oh, that surface there needed to be selected. So, oh, and that also needed to be selected. So, yeah, I think that's everything. Um, then go ahead and hit enter. And it'll tell you um, to write uh, where you would like the start of the section to be and where you would like the finish. So, um, I want my section to be facing in this direction, not this direction. So um, I have to think about um, where I start my section line for that. And in which case, I'm going to need to start from um, the top, which will be uh, the left of my section, and the bottom, which will be the right of my section. So I'm going to hit um, the first section line, second section line, and there we go. It's created me a section. Uh, I'm going to group that straight away, um, those section lines that have been created. Uh, and I'm also going to zoom to my viewports. So using the command zoom selected, we use a lot of the time. There we go, you can see it's created me a section through, a transect through my model. I'm also going to come to the front view. And right view. Sometimes it doesn't work, and I don't know why. Mm -hmm. oh. Come on. Just 
that command again. Ah, well, uh, I will find it. There we are. Um, so it's now generated as a section through our model, and you can see um, it's made those lines on the section uh, layer that's now blue, which I made blue. Um, so if I select that section, so select objects on layer, and I hit the command invert, it'll select everything but the current selection, and I type the command hide. Uh, I can see more clearly um, the section that's been created in my perspective, my plan, my front, and my right view. Um, but right now it's um, not flat on my C plane in the plan view. So I'm going to use a make 2D command um, of my uh, using my front view this time. Um, and uh, that will generate me a uh, a section drawing um, in the front perspective. So the first thing I'm going to do is rotate my section. So I can see it clearly in my front view uh, is the projection from left to right in my front view. There we have it. And then I'm going to type in the command make 2D, uh, show hidden lines off, current view, um, show viewport rectangle, not appropriate, but we'll have it on, maintain source layers, OK, hit OK, and now it's generated as this uh, sub-layer with all of our lines. So if I hit the command uh, group uh, and I zoom selected in plan view, I can see it's generated me a section with all of the lines needed. Um, so, yeah, that's how you make a section with um, Make 2D in Rhinoceros. Uh, very simple. Um, we just need to export this. So, we're going to select all the objects, uh, File, Export Selected. Um, we're going to call, um, yeah, it's got an appropriate name. We renamed it in the beginning. Uh, today's date, Slater's tour, 3D, select, uh, section in the same folder as our plan, DWG. So um, making sure that we have um, in our export options, AutoCAD drawing DWG selected. Export, and then it will come up with this uh, panel here. Select 2004 polylines out of the selection menu and hit the command export. And that's all there is to making a section. Goodbye.